So the first messages that I am picking up right now before I clicked on this video is move your body girl is like this playing in my head over and over like a song. And so I'm encouraged to say that it is important that you move your body around, move that energy around. I'm also hearing scattered thoughts, move the energy around and ground down into your body. And next thing I heard, I just heard right now a swift action. Something is about to, uh, occur in your life in a form of like, I'm feeling a chill, like a wind blow, like swift action. Okay. And this also could be on the flip side. I'm picking up that some of you need to take this swift action in your life towards something or some type of opportunity that has been presented to you or is presented to you. Cause I'm getting this feeling that someone is resisting something and I'm hearing that, uh, spirit is saying like fear not. Okay. Cause that could be a particular message. Take it in how it resonates to always take in what resonates and leave what doesn't. And, uh, always listen to your intuition over any outside influences always I encourage you lovely soul okay even me trust what you feel within yourself okay so whoever I'm speaking to take the messages how they resonate into your life uh, there's a quick change that is occurring in your life. And I'm also hearing like karma is now on your side. I heard the worst is now behind you. Okay. And I can like see someone like turning their back to, uh, something that they completed. This could be an old cycle. This could be a pattern. This could also be something that's someone or something that you have let go of. Cause I'm also hearing shedded old skin, right? And you shed it in, you shed it, this old skin, you let go of something however it resonates in your life. And now you're opening up to this new, to something new into your life. And for some of you, it's uh, her higher forces, right? Higher power is what I'm hearing right now is what many of you are uh, beginning to open up to. I heard this new way of doing things, right? I feel like whatever you've been working on in the space before the space you're in now, now it's taken into like more action. Like the last space you're in, you're just gathering up all this information and learning whatever you were learning in that space. And now it's like, you're putting it together. That's what I'm feeling. I heard pieces of the puzzle are coming together. So you're slowly beginning to piece puzzles together and you're also learning, uh, more about you in this space. And I also just heard that forgiveness is key forgiveness for yourself as well as forgiveness for others. And I'm seeing like the old version of yourself. Some of you, when you become, um, awakened and more conscious and more aware, you can become frustrated with that old version of yourself. Always be kind to yourself. And I heard someone speaking nasty, nasty to themselves. So we want to just say that we encourage you to like understand that negativity creates your reality as well as positivity. It's all about what you choose to focus on and like your words shape your world and your beliefs make it true. So you could be saying things that you don't actually want to come true. And we want to say that, uh, when it comes to negativity, the reason why the underlying belief of what negativity really is, is like, you might say, I'll never have a boyfriend. I'll never get that job. I'll never get rich. This is never going to happen when never say never for starters. But second off, it's just like giving an example. Then it just like gives you this control, this sense of control of the outcome. So it's just like, it makes you feel like you can control that you're, you're in control of the outcome. So you speak negativity, negativity by yourself just for that sense of purpose. And that's something that many of you are redirected or being redirected to look deeper into and oh, I heard Spirit say, watch the words that are coming out of your mouth because many of you are now learning this and you're at the space where you're learning how words cast spells. Um, and like I just mentioned, words shape your reality. It does matter what you begin to speak. And I'm getting this feeling of like to share with you all, like with me. Oh, I didn't know I was that like, close to the camera. <laughs> what I'm getting this feeling of is like with me is like within myself. Okay. The last space I was in, I was able to notice, I could see like the, that, like if it looked like a negative portal and on the right, I seen like a, a positive portal and it looked dark on this side and it looked like a uh, light on this side. And I seen like what, f like water, like flowing, like in a tunnel flowing down in those two areas. And I was picking up like, wow, I knew I had the choice of what I choose to focus on. Even deeper, right? Cause things are going deeper. Okay. It sometimes feels like you're learning and healing the same thing over and over again, but things are going deeper, right? Okay. So that's why it's important to work with the space that you are in. So I saw this and then, uh, in the next space I enter a little bit later on into a new space. And in this space, I actually started working with this. I was used to be like many of you here familiar with, um, you know, feeding the negative thoughts and being, uh, them being familiar. And I got, I got tired of doing that. So I totally went in into 
focusing more on the positivity, tuning into the higher frequencies, tuning into love, right? And notice how the rise in my vibration fell. And that's what I continue to do. And it's so much better because positive affirmations, positive thoughts also shape your reality and create your reality as well. It's all about what we choose to focus on. You can focus on the heavier side of life and I'm here like density, or you can focus on the lighter side of life and be creative and focus on love and happiness and joy. But it is a practice to shift your mind from one one place to another, right? And focus in on yourself and be aware of yourself. That's why it's important to be the observer and, and, and you're the soul. So you're the observer, the watcher in your body and watch things and don't absorb and attach and take on energies or thoughts. You feel me? And, uh, what I want to say with that as well is like, it's important. I encourage many of you to really watch your energy and watch what you're doing. Anytime you're looking at things, I'm getting to picking up like, you know, the, the, uh, eyes are the window to the soul. So anytime you're, you look at things, watch what the mind does, watch the story it takes on. And I'm also getting these vibes of really trusting your body, right? When you come in contact with people or anything, notice how you feel first before what you think, because for some of you, I just heard judgment being judgmental is getting in your way. When you're judging, you can't see what exactly needs to be seen. And I'm feeling like in others is what I'm picking up. And you can use this, that in any situation in your life right now. So focus on this forgiveness, focus on gratitude and focus on love in the space that you are in right now, lovely soul. And I want to go ahead and jump into what I have written down right here is that, so the first group of the souls, the star seeds has quantum leaped and anchored in the new earth timeline, bridging between worlds. So no more fighting let the energy guide you through and listen to your internal guidance system. You're supported in the space that you're in. Okay. So feel into what you need and make your journey and you priority as you will be guided to all that is meant for you. The shift in humanity's timeline allows for more forward momentum. And as this occurs, so is this splitting of worlds. And I had noticed that yesterday at an event that I went to, um, I know I was in a room with mostly all strangers. I didn't know anyone there uh, except for maybe two or three people, maybe four, give or take. And other than that, um, my point was like, I noticed how I was in my power, just not picking up nobody's energy, just really like in my own presence. You know, you'll notice that certain people, it's like, to me, I feel like the ones I call the open ones, the ones who are curious, the ones who are working on themselves, <laughs> right? And you can also feel this genuine love from these souls. So these types of people will come and speak to you. It always will come and talk to you, right? And just tell you about their life story. And that's what happened to me yesterday with, uh, I'll be, I'll be offered food and I told him I was vegan. And so the lady opened up to me. She said, I don't blame you. And she started telling me her story behind it. Right. And I was, and I told her, I'm so proud of her. And you can see that God will always have you in the right place at the right time. As I mentioned prior in another real that uh, divinely orchestrated events are occurring, whether you are aware that you're participating in them or not, I am now aware that I'm participating in these events and uh, I show up and uh, I see, I always tell myself, I walk in any room knowing that God sent me there. So I'm already aware of I, I'm open and I'm a, I allow things to happen, but I'm aware that I'm here for a reason. I don't know why, but I'm here for a reason. And it always presents itself to me. And, and, and in that situation, this has happened like a lot lately. And in that situation, I realized that that lady needed to see that because me and my son are vegan and that there are people who do eat healthy and that veganism is possible and that what she doing is the right road and stuff like that. So you, many of you are beginning to have these uh, divinely orchestrated events uh, happen in your life. So it's important to take on the opportunities that are presented to you. And like kind of, I heard like use all areas of your brain as well. Like seeing things from all different uh, perspectives, seeing things from all areas type like energy is what I'm feeling right now. And, um, and when you, the more present and aware you are, you'll begin to see the work that you're doing. God's work. You work for God, baby. I heard you get paid just by being you though. You heard it's always was meant to be that way. You feel me? No matter where you are on your journey right now, you are exactly the space that you're supposed to be in and work in that space that you're supposed to be in. I'm getting this vibe of like, you know, the game of life, right? The guy heard the game of throne, <laughs> the game of life. So like, if you're in the beginning stages, set it on easy mode, okay? Set it on easy mode and make it easy for yourself. Don't put it on hard mode and be mindful of when you your energy tries to try to escape or try to run or, or try to like rush to a destination. 
it's, it's like, you know, I'm, it's coming through like a rush to get nowhere. So work in the space that you're in. Cause what many people don't realize is that I would like to, what I would like to share is I stood on many mountains, but it was always about the climb. Check out that song by Molly Cyrus climb and look at, listen to it and hear it differently instead of like a relationship. You feel me? As it's presented, listen to those words. It's going to resonate with you because it is about the climb. It's, it's about, it's, it's empowering what you are able to move through, what you, what you grow through, what you pour yourself out of her say pull it out the mud baby and, and that's the empowering part of it you know it's just like there's all these things out here that presented to be marketed and so forth as if as if you're not enough right you got to get this because you're not enough and just an example to people who uh you know get their body work injections whatever you know the surgery whatever you do it to each is on i respect you but what i do want to say is that you'll never feel good about it because it's all about the work that you put in to actually drop drop those you know that weight and let that weight shed off you and you can see that in all perspectives of your life so that you can stop yourself from trying to be an impatient and trying to run and force things and be in the space that you're in and work in that space. Many of you here today are resonating with me very deeply. Okay. And I do have cards already pulled out. So just for, for we can save a little time for you all because I know your time is valuable, baby. And so I already have them pulled out. We're going to get into those, but there's this also this message that some of you, you're in this space where you're learning how to use your power and your day to day is changing. And here lately, things have been very different than before. Cause you're learning how to create, you're learning how to use your energy wisely. You're becoming aware of the importance of grounding and being stable. And I do want to say that, uh, there has been a lot of energy and light codes coming into the body. So it is easy to rest and allow that energy to uh, integrate because for sometimes just having it like for those who resonate with the move your body energy as well, just having it sit in your throat and sit or, or sit, sit in your head, wherever it is <laughs> decided to sit, you have to move that energy out of that space. It's going to cause very much discomforting and rest definitely helps integrate it in. Right. Or you can like, for me, it has been my throat. So I can like, I put my hand here and I put my hand on my stomach to move the energy down there. And I just see white going white light, like going down in here. And it does release it for a minute, but moving your body does absolutely help. And also so does does rest. Okay. So you're becoming aware of the importance of grounding and being stable. It's just like this. If you look at the tree outside before that tree could grow and be such abundant and beautiful as well, I heard it loses its leaves as well. And it still grow back though. You hear? And at the bottom of the tree is roots and those roots are grounded down to mother earth. And that is the importance of grounding for ourselves as well. And I'm also picking up getting to the root of something, our underlying beliefs of, of the trauma, the fear, whatever wounds that you are experiencing in order to, to tear out that whole tree, you got to get down to the root of it the cause of it, where it all began. Okay. So you can see that this healing work is a process. Okay. And just, and really enjoy the journey. So also there's this the message of like certain foods really are scattering your brain. And many of you are becoming aware of this, not a doctor disclaimer, disclaimer, and it causes you to feel ungrounded and it feels more challenging to ground and stay grounded throughout the day. It's like a racy mind. Your mind feels like all over the place. It's like to keep it warm with yourself. It's, it's, it's just, and it seems distracting. So it is the foods that you are consuming, eat more plants, eat more vegetables, eat more fruits. Okay. We really encourage you to pay close attention to your diet and see how you feel when you're eating things. See how your energy feels. This is important. And it's important to pay attention to everything that you're doing, how you respond. Why did you say that? Why did you do it? Just really watch you and you're learning about you. And some of you are actually seeing, watching others and learning and gaining this understanding of others because of you learning about you. Okay. It all depends on where you are right now. Your energy is everything and you, you do everything with your energy. So keep your energy cleared out on a daily, keep your channel open and check out throughout, check in throughout the day on your energy levels. Go within, just close your eyes, baby. If you can go to a restroom stall, if you got to work, wherever, just get that moment for yourself real quick and go within and um, practice staying in tune with the higher frequencies with love. And some of you are truly being guided to truly trust yourself, the process and trust what you feel. We're in that time when like um, sensuality is key, right? And you're really learning how to trust what you feel. Let me know down below if I'm speaking to your spirit. You're learning to trust what you feel is key. You are learning how to discern, right? 
right now. This earning is important. So whatever space you're in it, just be okay with working with what you're working with in that space. Okay. You don't have to know it all. You, it's, it's like they make it easy for us. They give us space, the space, the space when we're done with this space, we go to this space. When we're done with that space, we go to this space and we're learning and growing, put, putting it all together. Okay. You're going to really have to trust what you feel. You're really going to have to trust your gut and your intuition when it comes to discerning. This is the space that you're in right now. Learn to be okay with being wrong, right? I tell myself, I love being wrong. Okay. It is so helpful from here on out. It will keep you from getting in your own way. It will keep you from stop trying to be right and wanting to hear what's right and, and, and not learning, uh, what's needed to be learned. Okay. And in this new space, it's important to believe and work with your higher energies that are around you, your angels, your guides, they're all around you. (laughs) I know you love to give, protect your energy and keep your boundaries. Okay. Um, speaking of you, like your angels and guys are all around you. Many of you have to understand that you're more than a physical being prior before you became a human, you were a spirit, right? You are a spirit, right? And so you are a spirit and it has not been, it's now told, but it has not been shown or shared enough in the past to know about being a spiritual being and being in a world where spirits are all around us, right? That's why, uh, dark forces were able to do what they did, which was all orchestrated and perfectly done for us to grow. It's all meant to be. This is a world of illusion. This is the earth school where we come to learn. It all is what it is. To me, it's all God because God uses these energies for us to grow. And it's a beautiful thing. At the end of the day, that's the way I see it. I feel like we are working together, even though some of these energies want this control, this manipulation and stuff of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Of course, that's what they want, but that ain't happening because the light already won and we're going to continue doing us, but it's not no hard feelings. Send love to all beings every day. Stop fighting the system. Some of you, I did that at the press me. Okay. You got to let that stuff go. You got to let go of what you can't change. Okay. So keep your boundaries. And if people don't ask, keep your energy. And the same goes with knowing when someone is trying to abuse your energy. Okay. I'm getting like trying to get something out of you. I'm getting like, just trying to be around you to see uh, where you are, what you got going on, what they can learn from you, what they can take from you or how to try to uh, sabotage you. Okay. Some of you really must be aware of the energies that you come in contact with because you got to notice when someone is projecting, start to notice when someone is trying to bring you down. The only time somebody can actually bring you down is if you are at a high vibration. (laughs) Okay. We're not superior over anyone. I said, if you're at a high vibration, you feel me? It's important to be aware. And it's much easier when you heal your wounds because these entities like to latch onto wounds. Okay. And then that's how people like they project off to you. And you have a wound, then you end up connecting with them from that wound and you bring yourself down, right? If you're in it, if it's a wound that hasn't healed or it's fresh, or you're not aware of it, or you're not aware of the projector, however that means, right? So, uh, this is what's always been around us. There's nothing to fear. Even though I was scared of dark my entire life. Now I understand why for those of you who, who resonate with that part. Okay. So that's why it's important to heal. All of this is designed to help you for you to grow for you to uh, expand, okay? For you to remember your authentic truth and how you truly live. That's why things are changing, okay? So it's very important to be aware of what is happening energetically. Rather, the individual is conscious or unconscious of what they are doing. Sometimes they don't know because they don't know their energy. And some of you are in that space where you don't know your energy. And you're going to learn that along the journey. You continuously keep moving forward. And some of you are in the space where you know your energy and you're learning to work with it and, and stuff of that nature, okay? So, let's go ahead and dip. I would say dipping and dapping and don't know what's happening, right? Somebody got somebody in their life who's dipping and dapping and don't know what's happening. Somebody just talking and don't know what they talking about though. Okay. <laughs> However, that resonates to some of you out there. If you like this video, hit that like button. And this messages, these messages are resonating with you. Hit that like button and please share this video. I greatly appreciate you. Follow me on Instagram. If you're an Instagrammer at Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually though. Okay. And if you feel in the vibe, you open up to the truth and you resonate with my spirit and my energy here today, hit the subscribe button and that bell. Okay. And if you're interested in booking a reading with me and I do have some coaching limited coaching spots available. The information will be down below in the description area. Let's get over to this card that I already have pulled. Let's flip it over. Let's discover it together though. Okay. The age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Look at this. You have been training for, let me move my finger. You have been training for this for a lifetime. You see this moment. You have been training for this your entire life, lovely soul. Look at all that light. You see, I said light codes are definitely coming in to move down that energy. Look, body, mind, and spirit, body, mind, and soul, however you mean, however that the triangle resonates to you. Three, 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 baby. You see? 
You've been training for this for a lifetime. Look, I'm these this the background of of here. Uh, I'm getting mountains because I spoke on uh, mountains, standing on mountains. Okay. And I also, I'm definitely feeling like grounded and aligned. I'm also feeling aligned energy and, and I'm feeling like over here, like divine energy all around you. Right. Uh, I heard your aura is sparkling is shining is glowing. Right. Uh, and I'm also hearing like golden light. You can use golden light to connect into your heart, into the universe, right? Using your imagination is highly powerful. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to the next card. Look, they're lanterns. E evolution, vibration, legacy, technology, progress, and expect acceleration. I told you that things were about to start moving along. Um, when I said swift action, I don't know if I actually said that, but that, that's what I did mean to add into that. If I didn't, please excuse me. So let's go into like the swift action. Things are about to accelerate. Some of you are in a space where you feel like, um, not impressed, not happy. Okay. So really tune into the positivity, really uplift yourself. And, uh, I also had her like, uh, regrouping coming together. Okay. Integrating energy. Okay. And also, um, expect uh, acceleration. I heard expect for moving. Okay. These things are about to start moving back along pretty quickly. So enjoy the, t the space that you're in right now for those of you who resonate. Okay. I thought I was going to read the card, but I'm not guided to read it. So let's pull over these next card for you. Look, believe in the impossible, lovely soul is what spirit is saying for you. Believe in the impossible. Know that anything is possible. If you're struggling right now with the financial situation, know that abundance means having everything you need when you need it, that you'll always have that, but you have to release the worry and truly have the faith, lovely soul, and allow things to fall in place for you. You always have the solutions, but you have like, I'm hearing, call me a center down, come to the oneness with yourself and see what the solution is for you. What is the solution to this? What are you being guided to do? But don't just worry. It's, I heard, get out of your head. Come into your heart and, 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 and connect with source for guidance. Okay. That's a, could be a specific message for someone out there. So just believe in the impossible. No matter things, I heard things can turn around drastically. Things can change right now while we're on the, after you get off this video with me, things can change in your life. Something could fall into your life because of the work that you have been doing. I'm also picking up the vibes of like the past seeds that you have planted are beginning to materialize and manifest into your life. Things are working out for you and there is manifestation energy and air right now. I'm getting Uranus vibes, sudden change, expect the unexpected type energy. Okay. Look, it's time to release the negativity. It is time to release the negativity. I'm also hearing it's time to release this negative self-talk and how you're treating yourself as well. And also how you're perceiving things, how you're seeing things in a negative way, change it, uh, 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 shift it. Okay. Be bold and make the first move. This also ties into the swift action that I spoke on. Someone needs to make the first move and it could be your first step on the path of awakening and you're just scared. Just take that step, baby. You'll always get the next step. You can only see the first two steps and prior to that, you can't see anything else. That's why you just have to trust, take the step. As you take the step, you give spirit something to work with. So staying stuck is staying stuck and it's all by choice. So be bold and make the first move and you can find that this happens on all levels, <laughs> right? We have to make a new move. You gotta, you be at a crossroads and stuff of that nature. Okay. Show the world the real you baby. Open up and show the world the real you. Okay. It is okay to be you. It's okay to be you. The energy is supported. Okay. Lovely. soul. you're a beautiful soul. You're a beautiful, powerful, amazing soul. I don't care what, what you've been through. I don't care what, I don't not say I don't care, but uh, you know, it don't matter what you've been through, right? It doesn't determine who you are. All you do is take the lessons with you. And you really leave that baggage behind. You've always been amazing. You were born amazing. You were a great soul. Okay. And it's important that you really use your discernment at this time and now moving forward. Last bullet is called over love, baby. Love is all you need. Okay, so I'm reading, I'm got to read it. Commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. You see what it's saying? Love is all you need. Love, if you are a being of love, channel and tune into the higher frequencies of love, the cosmos of love. And, and, and love will begin to manifest into your life when you see, have positive thoughts and use positive affirmation. These beautiful things will begin to manifest in your life. And it's also like that on the flip side. We have to understand that I'm seeing the word victimhood. Okay. We have to understand that no matter what, we're always creating things that even if we don't like it, we've created and we have to acknowledge it and not be a victim of it. That's why I'm seeing that word. Look, self-esteem. 
Okay, and I'm guided to read that as well. Look, I said golden light while ago. I pose the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yes, be confident in yourself and your gifts and your abilities and your talents, your psychic abilities that you are uh, 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 tapping into and learning how to use right now. You're learning, really learning how to use your power. It's really magical, isn't it? Ain't it really supernatural of who you really are, who you've always been? Look, look, I knew it was coming. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is key. Forgiveness of self. Forgiveness of others. Forgiveness is key. I knew it was coming. Okay. I heard there's a bright light being shined upon you. Okay, so I'm feeling like that means that some a light is being shined on some some darkness that needs to be seen within yourself. For some of you, you've asked for this, and the universe is shining light on it for you. That's what I'm picking up. Look, peace. Peace. I feel like many of you are in this energy of calm and peace, and some of you are in chaos energy. See, you are here to learn from that chaos and turn it into order, baby, and you'll find that peace within yourself by doing the inner work. Okay, so that's what I'm also picking up. Look, indecision. Someone is being very indecisive right now, and uh, that's because you're in your head and you're overthinking it. Because when you're in your mind about something, it's going to say this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this, and before you know it, you're not going to want to do it anymore. So it's important to drop down into your heart first, okay, and listen to what your heart heart is telling you connect in to the higher frequencies okay look and discipline is key discipline is key on this whole entire journey this is what got me this far right that's why uh, people ask me how i'm a, a vegan you know well I, first of all I, I ran into it in meditation notice it was a block for myself to each his own and it's because i'm disciplined i'm disciplined in my life i'm so disciplined in my life there was times when i had to in the beginning of my journey where i had to do what i didn't want to do because i had to push past the resistance and procrastinations and push past my own self that's that's why every level is a new level and uh, you're going to be learning and unlearning, unbecoming. And I'm saying that because that's something I really want you to sink in. You're going to unlearn and uh, relearn. Okay. Because what happened, work on level one might not work on level five. It really is true. And it's something that we can easily attach to and not being able to see it in a different perspective because we're still linked to what it used to be and not changing what needs to be changed. Okay. So let's pick up these other cards we have for you. Excuse me. Look nourishing nutrition that just links into what i'm saying being mindful of eating foods that are keeping you grounded and not having your mind scattered it will definitely help out look and embracing fun having fun baby enjoying the will of life right enjoying life having fun bringing out that inner child and that playful energy okay let's pull over this card because this is all about a part of growth you are growing and things are working out for you look some of you are being impatient not and we spoke uh, enough on that today i feel impatient just speaks for itself and when we when we when we're impatient it feels it's a place of lack because what are, what are you rushing to what are you, why are you impatient what's causing you to be impatient i'm also hearing your brain waves and it's important as well to meditate to calm down those brain waves okay but uh, well, ask yourself, what are you rushing to? Um, also, here, what are you forcing? Uh, you, I feel like I heard you got to be at a place at a, a certain time. Or you feel like you're not where you're supposed to be and something is causing you to be really impatient. Really look at that deeper because it's not really the impatient that it is. There's something that lies beneath what you're feeling, right? And it's a lot of times it's wanting to move out that space that you're in, not wanting to be in that space and really wanting to rush things to be in. It's all a place of lack. That's why it's important to accept and uh, uh, accept the space that you're in and work with where you are, knowing that you're exactly where you're supposed to be, okay? Because patience is a superpower that you will learn, lovely soul, okay? That goes that forgiveness again. We ain't going to get into it, baby. Keep that childlike energy. Forgive, baby. Forgive. Look, you're not a victim. We spoke on that. Some of you are in victim mentality. You're blaming other people. You're blaming situations. And you could be blaming yourself. Look, abundance, baby. Abundance is your birthright. Okay? Many of you are uh, in this mindset of abundance now. You're on an abundant timeline. And many of you are moving to this timeline. So be patient with where you are. Okay. Oh, I heard, I heard when I heard, had that card, I also heard the path of enlightenment. Okay. So let's see what's up. Look, believing is seeing lovely soul. And we spoke on that. Look, devotion unites me with infinite. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. There's infinite abundance. There's infinite possibilities that surround you. You are really an unlimited being. Okay. In the world of illusions, you were, uh, in this world of illusions, you were taught limitations, right? You think you are limited because there's things that you did not know about yourself or, uh, spirituality or another way of life, right? Just like I never knew about veganism. Okay. So yes, open up your mind. Uh, um, is what I'm saying. That could be a specific message to someone out there. 
but there are infinite possibilities around you. You are an unlimited being. And when you're connected to love and when your, your uh, heart is open and, and you're connected to love, baby, you are unlimited. You are in your power and you're in the present moment doing this as well. Okay. So you're in your power and you're unlimited then. So, uh, that is a message that is coming through. Look, my high vibes heal the world, baby. You are the change you wish to see in the world and your energy does like it causes, it lightens the energetic load in the collective when you change and heal yourself. And also it begins to help others see, uh, that to remember their own divinity within themselves, the power that they carry to also heal themselves. So it, I heard it causes a ripple effect. And that's why it's important to show the world the real, the real you and authentically be you because people want some real stuff now. People done with their face stuff. I know uh, many of you here don't even like superficial like me. I don't like it. <laughs> Last pull over your angel message and we're going to conclude this beautiful reading today. Look, 030. I said 030, 0330, lucky shirt. So love, peace, hope, optimism, transferring responsibility to others, transferring responsibility to others. Don't be taking on other people's baggage and taking on other people's responsibility. Let them have their own responsibility. You've probably been doing this for a long time. I heard carrying the luggage of others. Okay. Progress and creativity. Pursue your goals and get what you want. It will provide wonderful benefits for you and the people you hold dear. Your ability to communicate is improving at this time. Mercury is now indirect, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad spectrum of individuals as well as you understanding your emotions. I feel like we pulled this card in one of our previous readings, but it's understanding your emotions. It's helping you also be able to communicate more clearly. Okay. Taking chances. Zero three, zero three. We got some zero threes in the house. Look at that. We got, uh, infinite possibilities. We got new beginnings, right? We got body, mind, and spirit. Okay. Uh, I heard alignment going on. And we got three plus three is six. We got balance. We got self-care. We got self-love. Three, six, nine, release, let go. A karmic cycle is ending. In the beginning, we said karma is on your side. Okay, let me read this one to you. Excuse me, I dropped the card. So taking chances, baby. Success, knowledge, friendship, impatience, freedom, and optimism. When chances present themselves, seize them and do something out of the ordinary. Rather in your professional or personal life, you will find success by welcoming creative impulses and having faith in your own own abilities, trust and chance and take risks on opportunities that could change your life for the better. Check it out. What a beautiful way to end such amazing reading. Thank you for sharing your valuable time here with me. I love you all. Keep looking after yourself. Keep taking care of yourself until next time, baby. Keep being you. One love. Stay grounded.